fellow Fat Train Riders. How are we all this evening? It's Dina from the Fat Program. So I'm just going to wait a minute and see if we have anyone tune in. This is a live video stream from my Fat Kitchen. And I just wanted to do a quick little video on my Fat Iced Coffee. So just see if we get some people popping in. Pointless just doing a video when no one's popping in. All right, we might just get started. Okay, so like I said, my name's Dina and I'm on the FAT program. I'm also a mentor as well. And I did a video quite a while ago when I first started, I think it was after my first round, on doing an iced coffee because we can have coffee. It doesn't, um, it's not included in our water intake. So if you're going to drink you know three or four or five cups of coffee a day you still need to drink your three liters of water so with that in mind i've been doing this and honestly i've been making this iced coffee since before the fat program i pretty much have it every day at around 10 o'clock for my morning tea so this is <clears throat> i only need a few ingredients ice water coffee obviously no sugar and milk now the milk on this iced coffee uh, recipe, it's not really a recipe, but anyway, is this milk. So you can use whatever milk you have, but you won't get the same effect that I'm gonna show you with the frothiness of this milk. So this milk is the only one I found that makes it really frothy. So I've just got a you know fake Nutribullet thing, and I'm just gonna pop in there some cracked ice. and teaspoon of coffee and you're only allowed two tablespoons of milk um sorry one tablespoon of milk not two <laughs> where did i get that from okay so in my last video i did of this i actually showed you you can make this without using your whole tablespoon of milk so you could actually have two of these in a day so it's a bit warm and muggy and sticky here in perth today so I'm going to have another one just before I have dinner. Um, and I'm only going to use one, one teaspoon of this milk, right? Sorry, a little bit just dribbled out there. And seriously, I'll, I'll measure it so you can see that you only need the smallest amount of this milk to make it get this really big froth happening. All right, so then we just need some water. So because it froths up, what you don't want to do is you don't want to put too much water because what happens is like as it expands and froths up it will start oozing out so you need to um, keep it you know at a, at a level where it's going to have some room to grow we'll just put a bit more in there we screw our lid on you can just drink it like that if you want but we're going to now pop it on our measure this is going to be a bit loud and you only need to have this on for you know, like, it's not long, maybe 15 seconds. You can hear the ice all crunching up in there. So use crushed ice if you, you know, it depends how good your mixing thing is. Right, so I'm going to put that aside. Now this is our iced coffee. This is great for summer. Look at this. Um, you can see in there. So that's icy. I won't put it all in. Now if you leave this, and we're going to leave this for a bit. Just dribbled it on my hand. If we leave this, what's going to happen is the water and the froth, so the froth's going to separate and it's going to lift. And it, as, as time goes on, look at that gets thicker there I am licking my finger again like I did that last time and see how you can see how you can slowly see the coffee the water coffee here it's not all froth I mean eventually it'll settle and you'll have as much water as you put in there before and then you'll have all this you'll have all this froth and that is your fat iced coffee so again remember you you can have two of these with your milk allowance you can make it without milk, but you obviously won't get the froth. 
see slowly slowly it's getting slowly slowly that'll you know if you sit that there for I don't know a minute you'll get this great froth on there so it's getting thicker now see how it's getting thicker it's great for summer and that's my fat iced coffee guys so the milk what is the milk called the milk is Devondale and we support our farmers Devondale the 99.99 percent nothing in it milk <laughs> looks like water so if you use um, any other milk I, I've tried it with other milks and you won't get the froth happening with other milks but I don't know why just for some reason whatever it is with this milk this is um, this is the only one that gives you that froth so it's still slowly getting separating it tastes beautiful get a straw drink it up guys great for a little balmy night in Perth anyway that's my little iced coffee fat recipe and welcome to my kitchen and we shall see you next time bye